Hello, I'm Judy Christ, and I'm a member of the Art of Thomas More Initiative. This series is designed to shed light on the amazing artwork and artifacts that are located in the permanent collection at Thomas More University. Today, we're featuring the stained glass windows in the Mary Seat of Wisdom Chapel. The chapel was built and dedicated in 2012 as a freestanding place of worship for the entire Thomas More community. The windows are designed by Sister Emmanuel Kiefer, who is a member of the Order of St. Benedict and longtime art teacher at Villa Madonna Academy. In addition to being an educator, Sister Emmanuel is a freelance artist and her artwork, uh, paintings, windows, and banners can be found throughout the region as well as the country. The windows featured in the chapel include the Christian Life, Mary's Seat of Wisdom, and the Academics, which take up the Northeast Wall, flames representing the Holy Spirit, which are above the sacristy, Jesus teaching the Beatitudes, which are in the Meditation Chapel, and a young St. Thomas More, which is in the entryway. There are also windows honoring the three religious orders who helped with the early years of the college, the Order of St. Benedict, Sisters of Notre Dame, and Sisters of Divine Providence. We spoke with Sister Emmanuel about her part in the designing of the windows and also about how she learned the art of stained glass in her earlier years from Walter Baumbach, who was the owner of Reardon Glass Company when it was located in Covington, Kentucky. I used to work with a real genius, a real genius. He was an old German and he learned his stained glass craftsmanship from working with the Cistercians in, in Austria um, after World War II. He came to the States because they were put in a concentration. I didn't know that there are so many things you don't know when a war is over. And I don't know whether it was the Americans or the Russians or who went through Europe. They were, he and his family were living in Czechoslovakia, but they were German descent. So they were picked up and put in a concentration camp after the war was over. The mother said, we'll never make it through the winter on this. We're gonna have to get out of here some way. And they got out. His family did make it to Austria and he entered a Cistercian monastery. I think he was, I don't know, just 14, 15 years old at the time. And he was given to a Father Peter who was, who had the windows from the great cathedrals of Europe that had been damaged with the bombings during the war. It was up to him to repair them and see that they got back. But uh, he, was a, he was a genius with stained glass. He was in Covington for a long time. He had a, a big old, uh, it was an old building down there. And there was a, one side of it, he had a huge glass window. And whenever I worked with him, he would put the stained glass up on that window with little dabs of um, wax and paint the black lines in between. And then he'd call me, he'd say, sister, you come now. We look it over and see if everything on it is exactly right. And almost never, almost never did I have to change a thing. When they were doing the chapel, I think the community was asked for a sizable donation. So um, the prior said, well, if you want somebody to do stained glass, I'll get Sister Emmanuel to do it for you. So uh, I was glad to do it. I just enjoy anything like that and uh, I take it to people I give them a colored picture if they don't like it they don't have to take it if they want something changed on it I change it the only thing they told me about the windows were that they wanted them to be really strong light sources so I thought well fine I'll put the design strongly at the bottom and I'll leave the top relatively plain. I'll put something up there on all of them till it, it kind of ties it in with the bottom and we'll see how it goes. They gave me a very free hand with the subject matter and so I chose the, the Christian life window mm -hmm. in the front, the Mary window uh, in the center and 
the academic window on the end, and they liked that. Um, Sister Margaret Stallmeyer was wonderful to work with. She's such a beautiful lady. The one that I, I like, I like that first one in the front that's the uh, Christian life window. And that one is on uh, baptism, entrance into the church, and the life of the Christian in the Eucharist, and the incense of prayer. And, of course, that would make something go up nicely through the top. So this one I used the star um, for Mary, the star of the sea. And these are things from the litany. Um, Queen of Peace, Mystical Rose, Mother Most Pure, and Tower of David. They wanted um, Thomas More as a young man. And um, I think that's probably the closest to exactly what I had <laughs> set up. If you have any information or a story about the art at Thomas More University, please contact Judy Christ at chrisj at thomasmore.edu or call 859-344-3443.